Hey guys, and today I wanted to come to you with part two of our two part series on how to use views relationships in Drupal. Now, if you haven't seen part one, definitely go ahead and watch it. We we um went over some basics of what the concept of a views relationship is. Um so definitely go ahead and watch that if you haven't already seen it. But basically I'll, I'll give you the real quick recap. A, a views relationship is just just a way um when you list when you list content in views you normally say I I only want to show nodes of a certain type or I I only want to show people of a certain type we 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 usually we usually limit it by something but what if what if you want to get something that's out outside it's 16 30 outside of that limit well we still want to know details of it relative to what we're looking at and that's that's when we use a views relationship basically the idea is to give us access to data that we wouldn't natively have access to and um, in the last video what we did was we we create we created a relationship between node that had been created so house node and and the author that created it and we used the author field as as the basis for the relationship because that knows all the information about our node that we needed it to know and it also knows all the user profile information we needed to know to be able to pull out the number of children field that we want to, dis to display alongside our houses once again if you haven't seen that video definitely go ahead and check it out because I, I won't be really recapping um, any of that stuff so the difference between that and today's example then is we in in that example we used a default field we didn't we didn't relate that every every um no type has a def uh, an author cuz Drupal just automatically keeps track of that so we didn't create that basis Drupal created it for us so today today we're going to create a basis for a relationship and then Leverage that, leverage that basis. Um, so let's let's dive into the example and then hopefully you'll um, understand where we're going. So we're gonna need we're gonna need a few modules to today to, to today's example. They are at drupal.org slash project slash references. The references module and this what this is what's gonna allow us to create the basis for that relationship to say. Okay, we we want those two nodes. In our case, a house node and a city node to to be, to be able to link together. And we want we want there to be a basis for that relationship that, that we can define ourselves. So we need the references module at Drupal.org slash project slash references. And then what we're gonna what we're gonna be doing is I now have two two content apps on the site. Houses and city, and each each house is listed as being in in one of two cities. And what we're going to do is, um, on the city, I have a five star module, so so people can select select what ratings they want to um, give to each city. And then alongside the houses, we're gonna we're gonna find out which city each house was in use views relationships and then limit or oh, sorry and then show show the rating for the city that house was in um really easily so a little more a, le a little more practical um so we're gonna need views obviously uh, voting api at drupal.org slash project slash Voting API and Drupal.org slash projects as five star. The, those two are related though. Those two are just to create the field that we're going to base the relationship off. And then there's Drupal.org slash projects slash references, which we're, we're going to create the reference off. So, um, let's have a quick look at our site to see kind of what. What the, what the lay of the land is. So this is a similar table to, to the one we 
talked about last time. But now, if we look at one of our node types, or oh, sorry, one of our houses, it's got a, a, a location in it, and this is a node reference field. And if we, we click that location, we see that it's got a rating. So what if we want to pull it out, find out which which uh, which city each house is listed as being in, and then pull out the rating for that city in our in our table. So that's what we're going to do. Let's look at our um, content types to get an idea of what we're doing. So the um, the 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 content app that has the node node reference field on it is is the um house content type because we want to reference what which city it's in on a on a house to house basis. So we're doing it on the house content type. This is also the one that we're listing in views. So we need we need to do that. Um so that is just that that is that just shows us as select lists of cities when we create a node that are on the site and we can choose from. See, we can we can we can we can only choose cities to relate it to. And if we if we go ahead and just real quick and look at our and. Um, Look at our city content type. We can see that we don't uh, we don't have a reference there because nothing needs to reference t to the city. The only thing we need to do is reference from an individual house to a city to say, okay, what city is this in? So we don't we don't we don't need a no relationship there, but the, the the this this has got the rating which is what what we're gonna pull out and the whole reason why we're creating the relationship. Um. So let's let us let us go ahead and do it. If we edit this view, as we saw last time, we can't just um. We can we can't just uh, we can't just add a field and add the rating of the city that it's in because 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 we're only showing um, houses we do, we don't we don't have access to the okay for this respective house what what rating the the city that this house is in get so that's why we need a views relationship. To give us access to the city stuff for the respective node, so we're going to say and um, we're going to add a relationship and say, okay, which 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 field that we currently have access to is is also the go between for the for the information we want, and that's that's that node reference field we just set up. Now, something important to note is because because we're we're referencing it from the house and from the house and the house what is what we have access to. We don't we don't we don't want to select the reverse because we're not going we're not we're not listing locations. Will it? So we don't want to do it through the location as it says here. We want, we want to do it through um, the house. So we're gonna we're gonna add that as our relationship. Now this is the same as last time. Just, just Id identifies where a relationship being used. We'll we'll see that later. What isn't the same as last time is I said this require this relationship field didn't didn't mean anything last time, and it didn't because every every node in Drupal has to have an author, so that that relationship was always going to exist. But but because it's a custom field, if we say require this relationship what that will do is if someone hasn't if if someone's forgotten to say which house a city is in it just 
it just won't show that house because regardless we want to show the star rating for every the city that every house is in so if if um if we can't do that then we may as well not just show the house at all so I'm going to say add display that then gave us access to all all the stuff from the the, the respective and um, see that has been referenced so if we limit this to content and what we want is the rating out of our content member that was that was the name of the CCK field that we selected and um, notice it has appear in appears in node city it doesn't appear in uh, um node house which is which is what we're what we're listing so we normally wouldn't have access to it but because of that relationship we we can get access to it and this is this is some interesting stuff here we need to select the location as our relationship and the, this this relationship ID by the way is what we put in for uh, the identifier earlier when we were setting them the relationships that's that's something I I, I skipped over um, and then this this label is going to be important because before we before we were uh, when when we were on a city content type which remember what this originally comes from it makes sense for it just to say rating because we we're, we're just we're just rating the city but in in the new context where it, uh, it's what we're showing here is the rating of the city that the house is in it, it doesn't really make a lot, a lot of sense so we need to rewrite that we're just going to say location rating and then this is all just standard five star stuff what 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 do you want to show this is just giving us the for the field but so important no no results behavior because we've we've said that there has to be a relationship between this the the these two things for the house to show at all so it it has it has to know what city it's in but it's possible that although it knows what city it's in it's it's that city still might not have a um rating so this might still be useless so we're going to say um Just simple there to make it uh, clearer what's going on. And and you see we have um the uh, houses showing up with respective ratings. So if we save that, we see we have the ratings. And if we click on any one of these houses, uh, and then we go to the location, we see that. The rating shown in the table and the rating shown on the respective location do match up. So we're pulling dir directly based on that relationship, and we're pulling from the related field. So we created our own relationship based on the, the references module and use that as a basis for the the, the relationship. So uh, advanced advanced views relationships. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope it's been useful. Um, I, I'm a little uh, I'm running out of ideas as to what to do for tech video next. So if you guys want to fill out my survey and give your thoughts and have some more importance on my YouTube channel, uh, de definitely check that out. I'll put a link down below. Also check out my website, tom-richards.com. There's a whole bunch of interesting
content over there. Anyway guys, advanced views relationships. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you've understood, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.